into the session and now we will talk about FYP1. What are you supposed to do or complete for a final year project semester one? Now, we have already talked about in the previous discussion about what you should include in your thesis. So uh, basically the thesis really is your, is your guidance is to, if you complete the activity of the thesis, you are also doing the work in real life, in real time. So basically in FYP1, you have the following reports that you must complete. Um, I understand that you have about less than one week to finish this. So uh, you have to complete, you have to begin chapter one. And by begin means uh, your best to complete the section that we talked about in, uh, in the last video. That means background, problem formulation, uh, proposed hypotheses, and the scope. Uh, this part, uh, the problem formulation and the hypotheses and the scope are yours. The background maybe is coming, you can give it from other sources or like the internet or whatever. But uh, problem formulation, uh, proposed hypotheses, and scope are all your, your own words. So you make sure they truly represent the work that you plan to do. It may not be perfect, it's okay. We will try to make it perfect by the time you finish PR2. In meaning that you have one month to basically come to make sure that your chapter one will be completely done by then. Because from chapter, from PR2 onwards, we, we don't even have to think about chapter one anymore. We're just gonna focus on doing the later chapters. But if along the way you realize that you can do some updates here and there, tweaks here and there, add to background, whatever, yeah, you can do so. But at the very least, make sure that your problem formulation and your or hypothesis are already completely done. The scope also, you might want to update it, change it, uh, you know, add to it, remove, to, remove things from it, so uh, that can be done as well. Okay, so now, uh, the next, of course, the next thing is to talk about, you have to put in your PR world, is chapter two, which is uh, literature review. And we talked about it also in the last video, and we said that in the literature review, you generally have two types of reviews, one to justify the problem, and one to, to show the potential of your hypotheses. So I will accept that at the very least, two references each. And you have to find two references. And finding references is not difficult. If you have Google or if you have those online databases, just with the right keyword, you can find plenty. But the issue is not just finding a reference, but the issue is to find it and review it. Um, Reviewing a reference doesn't mean that you're going to copy paste it and put it into your report. That is not a review. A review means that you have to summarize the work and then give your own opinion about it. But when we mention opinion, it means it has to be either from here, problem, or hypo. Meaning, if you find one report and you saw that that, that report actually showcases the problem that you talked about, let's say more time, then you mention it. Uh, this report, or this work from ABCD, uh, they, they are doing this work by doing this, this, and this, and that method. As you can see from this design, uh, it will take X amount of time to complete this task, which is exactly, uh, which is very time consuming. So this way you have reviewed the title or the topic by highlighting the problem that is related to your work. How do you review here? Well, uh, Project BZX uh, have used Arduino to do this, this, and that for agriculture. Based on their report, they were able to reduce time, uh, task time by 25%. That's it. So this actually brings the review to your paper. You, you can elaborate more about their method and you can also elaborate more about the results. As long as you use that in order to justify or to complete your point. So do not include anything into your chapter two. No, we don't need that. We are talking about only the ones that add to your work, uh, have value to your work. We don't want you to add anything and then say, oh, that's uh, all the, this is like 25 reports, they all do supposed properties. Here's your review. No, that's not a review. Your review is going one by one in these 25 reports and then see their methods and evaluate their methods and then see if that is actually relevant to you or not. Relevant means it's related to your work. Does it reduce time? Does it reduce cost? Does it involve Arduino or does it involve IoT? If the answer is yes to any of those, then it can be put into your chapter. So it has to be something related to your work 
not just random list of pixels and just put them there for the sake of filling the chapter. That's not going to work. It has to be reviews that actually are relevant to your work. So this is what I'm going to expect to see by the time, by this week, uh, it's basically by Monday, that you have to have this is done. Chapter one plus chapter two partially done. Then from then on in, you'll have another three weeks to do chapter two. In other words, you have one whole month to complete chapter one and two. So four weeks for you to learn to do all the reviews. And by year, by the time you finish it, when you say finish it by now, we would say minimum 30, 30 reviews, uh, 15 each. 15 for problem. I don't want to specify. 30, you know what, maybe, okay, for undergraduate, 25 to 30. Of course, if you have more, it will add more value to your work. So 25 to 30 reviews. You see, if your final year report or thesis has any less than that, then it's not valuable. You bring one reference or two references, then we don't even read your report. Some people also do that when they evaluate reports. They just look at the references list. If they see five or six references only, they don't even look at the rest of your report. They'll just close it and give you zero. Because that means if you did not put enough reviews, that means your work is irrelevant. It's not, uh, there's no guarantee that you are copying and that you're repeating other people's work. So that's why you have to have as many reviews as possible. Don't start with 25 to 30. If you find 50, 60, it's fine. So do as many as you can. Now, in the, how do you manage this? Uh, I said here 25 to 30 at this point, which is VR2. But you can continue to do reviews afterwards, no problem. Semester two, you can also do reviews, no problem, and then add them. But of course, you have to remember that the reviews will also uh, um, affect your methods. So you have to be careful about that. So hopefully by the time you did reviews, enough reviews that is, you will have a clear idea about your method. So this is where you come to chapter three and only draw the outline, basically a block diagram showing your design. That means for you, a middle, then you'll have an Arduino design, a circuit, a program, and a mechanical system, which is the, the, the box itself. And then a program, and then maybe some testing uh, procedure. So that's basically, these are the elements of your project. So you create an outline, create a chart or you know, a flow chart of to how these elements work together. First, we develop the, the, the algorithm, then buy the components, build the, product, build the prototype, test it, and then verify the results, and finalize the report. Here we go, that's the flow chart of your project. Oral presentation, we will talk about this later. Well, what is the oral presentation, by the way? Is it the last week of the semester or uh, the second last week of the semester? You can say last, two weeks. Exact date will be defined later. I'm not sure how much time you have between uh, PR2 and, uh, and presentation. I think maybe another month or maybe three or four weeks, maybe more than that. But basically, from, I think more than that, I think it's two months. I'm very fine. I think we talked about this last week, I forgot. Can somebody tell me which week is this? Week what? Oh, great. Sorry, the date of PR2. Can somebody give me the date of PR2? First of March, is that right? Somebody told me this now. Um, first of April. 29 March, sir. 29, 29 March. March, okay. What about the presentation? And that one, I, I can't remember, yeah. but I assume it's, uh, we, we got Can you give me the date of the last week? Discussed on when. Can you just give me the date of the last week? The last two weeks, the second last week, week 13. Find the, wait, wait. Uh, can you give me some time, sir? I need to find the file. It's okay, I'll find it here. Sorry, I have my own calendar. So, so week 13, roughly, that will be 24th, 26th of April. That's the week. You can say 5th of May, okay? Uh, you know, Labor Day. So, that's roughly, uh, you know what, let's call it 29 April. Just to give you an idea, okay? So, as you can see, between PR2 and all of presentation, you have one month. So during this one month, what are you going to do then? then? During this one month, you have to continue to do reviews, add more, and also you need to improve on your method. You have to perfect it. That means you have to clearly identify the components, define the algorithm. You have, if, if you want to start by buying the components from semester one, it's fine with me. Go ahead and do it as long as you complete your know, them. By the time you reach the presentation, Basically, it will contain all the elements of PR2, but it will have to be much more updated. 
I will take a look at your PR2 and you compare it with your presentation. You'll have to include chapter one and two and then parts of chapter three. Is that clear? Any questions so far? So if this is what you're going to do for final year project semester one. PR1, PR2, and oral presentation. Hopefully by the end of the semester, you already completed the chapter one or introduction. And uh, you also completed chapter two, which is the reviews, and you have a clear understanding, understanding of method. I do not want people to come in semester two and then say, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still deciding about this. I know. What do you mean by clear understanding? You have identified all components, not identified idea, identified components already, identified components, uh, algorithm for the program. I don't mean the actual program, that just the algorithm, I mean, uh, what's the plan, really? Uh, also, uh, well, it's, um, testing um, procedure, something like that. All of that has to be defined at by the end of semester one, okay? So that's how you should plan your activities. And hopefully now, you have a clear understanding of what to do, so you can then develop the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart, I already uh, gave you a sample of it, and I already gave you, uh, you already have a video of how to use the Gantt chart. Did anybody see that video about Gantt chart? Yes, sir. So what do you think of it? Is it helpful? Yeah, I think so, because the oh. one that First FYP student give is kind of too basic, right, sir? Yeah, so you have to develop the Gantt chart according to the one that I drew in the video. And the Gantt chart, I will also expect to have it uh, along with PR1. So when you submit PR1, you will submit the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart should specify the plans for semester one. The Gantt chart for sem one only for FYP one, yeah? Meaning, uh, it will involve all of the activities that you see here, okay, uh, and not just about, the, of course, semester one is mostly about theory because you're still doing reviews. As you can see, the fundamental element of your FIP one is the reviews because without the reviews, you cannot have a clear understanding about the method. So in, in the next three to four weeks, you'll have to have 25 to 30 reviews, but by the time you finish the semester, maybe more than that, okay? 25 to 30 is for the, the whole thing. Maybe by the time you reach PR2, maybe 15, maybe something like that, but then the more, the merrier that you have. So chapter two, um, basically, okay. So by end of FYP one, maybe at this point, let's call it uh, minimum 15. Yeah, let's say that. Minimum 15 reviews, okay. This is just a guideline. If you want to go more than that, that's fine, so 30. So by the time you reach PR2, you have to have at least 15 reviews. But by the time you finish the semester, which is one month later, basically another 15 reviews, so that's total 30, okay? Uh, and these are not just random reviews. I don't ask you to summarize the paper, just dump it into the into report. You have to, uh, you actually have to review it yourself. You have to talk about the pros and cons and how does it add up to your work? How does it help you? Okay, and then chapter three, which is right here, uh, you will have to have the outline, chapter three. So you have to have uh, outline. And of course, parts. Uh, hardware plans. If you have to build the model, then you at least have to identify the components you want to build and so on. This way, in semester two, when semester two starts, or if at least start, it starts, you begin by building components and testing your prototype. So the whole, the only thing you're going to do in semester two is building prototype and then testing it. No more reviews, no more theory stuff. It's only going to be hands-on building and testing. And then of course, finalizing chapters four, three and four and five. Is that clear about, uh, I will make another video, I mean, uh, another video for FYP two, but for now, I think you have the idea of what to do in semester one. Any questions? Uh, sir, go ahead. Uh, I have found a a proposal, or I think it's a FYP project also regarding okay. the proof for the machine, and the 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 model itself is kind of the same with the one that I am planning to do. And yeah, I found a a proposal. And, and what's so, the problem? 
Is there a problem if they say I do? You have to. Repeat, you have to. Uh, if you you want to repeat the work, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah I kind of repeat the same thing. No, repeat the same thing will not work with you. You you can benefit from that report. A benefit in a sense, you can see the reviews, you can see their method, uh, you can see uh, you know how they structure the report. But it doesn't mean that you're going to copy it. You can definitely add it to your reference list of references. Because if you try to copy it, I will find out. And if your work is exactly a copy of that work, then what's the point of your FIP? What do you add to the, to the, to the equation? Nothing. We don't need you. We can just go and read that other report. What you're supposed to do is to read that report and try to find some, some form of a weakness or some form of an improvement that you can add in your work. So this way, you will then become an improvement over the previous report. And this is the point of science, really. By, reading, by beginning by reading other people's work, identifying weaknesses, and then closing the gap, closing this weakness. See what I'm point, Femi? Yes, sir, yes, sir. But copying exactly that report is not going to fly with me. Uh, I'm going to now, uh, and by the way, this goes for, not just for you, for anyone. The very first thing we do when you submit your work is compare your work with previous FRP reports. We have our own databases of previous FRP reports, whether it's from Unit 10 or other universities. Uh, the right, by the way, if you yourself want to search for previous FRP reports, you can do so. And in fact, it's recommended because it's written by people, by students just like you, so it's easier for you to read it. If you read a journal for the first time, it will be it will be scary for you, but if you read previous reports, it's easy. Yeah, Sammy, what's up? Yes, sir. So if they say we want to go to the other university library, uh, uh, so how's the procedure? Do we need to get uh, an answer to uh, If you're talking physical, like uh, or yeah, online, physical. now just have your student ID from unit and it's acceptable. Just tell them that I'm a student from another university, uh, I want to go in. Usually they will let you in, but I don't, uh, you, you cannot borrow the book. You can read the book there or something, make copies, like for the copies, but you cannot borrow. You maybe if you have a friend from that university, maybe they can borrow on their card. And that's as much as if they allow you to borrow, maybe then in this case you will have to register. Then you can ask them about the registration process. I see. But in usually in, in regularly, I mean I, I when I was a student and even now as a lecturer, when I want to go to other libraries and other universities, as soon as you just tell them, they don't even ask you for the card sometimes. You just tell them I'm a visitor, regardless whether you're a student or not, then they let you in. Or if you just tell them I'm a student in another university, here's my card, they will definitely let you in. But borrowing, however, that's you have to ask them how that works. Okay, sir. All right. Any other questions about the plan for it? Are you clear? Uh, yes, any other questions? So are you clear about what you're supposed to submit to me next by Monday? Uh, yes, sir. You're supposed to submit, or you're, you're required to submit PR1 for this report one plus a uh, Gantt chart, which is the Gantt chart for the whole of the semester one. So it will be divided by weeks. Uh, and then you can include the weeks that we already completed, the earlier weeks, no problem, okay? So the Gantt chart has to be from week one until week 14. And then you can specify the tasks there. Also in the Gantt chart, you have to highlight the key dates, such as the dates for PR1, PR2, and um, oral presentation. Yes, Rami? The one that you say for the minimum four, is that the review? We need to, we need to yes. do the minimum four yes. review. I mean, this is just a guideline. If you have already more reviews, just add them. But what I want to see is minimum, because you only have about, what, six days to finish it? I will be I mean, uh, a little bit flexible about it. So just very few reviews is fine. But the more, if you have the time now to do, to, to add more reviews, by all means, go ahead. I definitely strongly suggest it. Do not worry about parts or components right now because uh, what I want you to do is the reviews. The more reviews you have, the more ideas you're gonna get and so on and so forth. All right. So miss uh, from four sources, 
two of them is for problem and two of them is for hypothesis. Yes. Once again, it's just a guideline. If you have more, add more. Uh, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I would accept, of course. But that's what I meant here. For uh, for PR one, your chapter two must include minimum of four reviews. Two of them talk about the current situation or the problem, and two of the, the other two talk about the hypothesis. If you have more reviews, or you can find more reviews, by all means, I will. But at the very least, in this coming few days, I need you to, to make dedicated four different reviews. So, I, any other questions? Yes, Fahmi, again? And uh, the one that you explained regarding Amiru's um, PR1, can uh -huh. you share again? Which one? The one that you detail out. You mean from the previous video? Yeah, the, from the previous video. Let me open it. You have a question about it? No, uh, can, you, can you share it on the group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, share it, I'll share it with the video. Don't worry about it. Oh, all right. When I upload the video, I will share the file itself. Don't worry about it. All right, sir. All right. So, uh, yeah, any other questions? The, the text from the previous video, I will share it with the video. You will, you will, have, you will, you will see it there. Any questions? Any other questions? Okay, so with that, I guess we are done with this short presentation. If you have any other questions later on, you can ask in the group. Uh, but for now, I think we are done for today. And uh, thank you for your time. And hopefully by Monday, I will see or I'll find quality reports. Oh, by the way, the, your title, um, you have to wait for me to give you the finalized title because the titles that you submitted in your, in, in your briefs, Maybe I will tweak a little bit here and there to improve it. So I will let you know, or I will post the list of the finalized list of titles in a while today. And then you can use that title from now on in all your reports. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you in the next session. Uh, have a good day. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Thank you, sir. Okay,